Hello. Hello, Cal Calvary family. Um, we wanted to send you a little video link as well. Um, sending a letter, you're receiving an email, you're receiving um, some text. Um, you get our phone numbers also in those notes and you can feel free to call and uh, ask questions or figure out some of the details that we're sharing today. But we wanted to give a video um, to just also maybe put some, um, I don't know, I guess put some, some uh, comfort to these words. Um, and so the letter that you're reading um, that's been emailed has a few things that are pointed out, and it's a big thing. The big thing is we're not going to be meeting in the way that we typically meet on Wednesday nights or Sunday morning. Um, and that's a difficult time. Um, but we're in, well, to comply and to help and especially to protect those most vulnerable in our community, um, we see it best to follow those recommendations. And, um, and so, so we're not going to be meeting on Wednesday nights and Sunday morning. However, we will be um, trying to do our best to maintain that connection to our community, to you. And uh, so we'll do that through a link on our website, uh, a link that you'll find in the email um, that you're looking at now. Um, and you can click on that link and on Wednesday evenings at 6.30 and on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. we'll have a live stream of our, well, a devotion time, uh, a worship time, a time to pray together, a time to be community together. And so we urge you and encourage you uh, to get on those links to, to join us so that we can, in real time, um, be together in this very unique and um, maybe even odd kind of way as we're figuring out today. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so that's the first part. You can see in the letter, um, calvarylutheranlincoln.org, and then also you'll have links on this email and in other places that we'll send you Wednesday evening, 6.30, and Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Um, we also got some exciting things that are happening in order to minister in our community, to our community, and yeah. to you um, in our partnership with Food Fort. Yeah, and that's, that's one of the things we've heard about is that um, people, not only are we trying to figure out how to um, just kind of take care of our own selves and own families, but a lot of folks are wondering how do we take care of others in our community? And so with Food Fort, we have a lot, a lot of groceries available. And so we're going to do a a food pickup on Wednesdays from three to five. And um, we'll keep doing that. Um, and and uh, so if you or neighbors that you know or other folks in the community just need food, uh, get a hold of us or come Wednesdays and uh, get what you need. And I'm sure there'll be other opportunities that show up too in time and we'll, uh, we'll communicate that. And goodness, if you think of ideas to think or uh, avenues to serve others, and of course, we're going to do our best to um, abide by whatever um, health measures are good for, for those we're serving to. Mm -hmm. So, yes, indeed. Interesting times, huh, Jake? It is interesting times. Yeah. yeah. Um, surprising. So, things change. Um, and so, if things come up, as, as Ben said, um, our phone numbers are also, if you don't have them in your phone already um, or available to you, phone numbers are in this email and in this letter. And so if you also find that Wednesday doesn't work for those groceries and you're in need, yeah. uh, but you don't want to go to the grocery store, you don't want to get out or you're of that age where you are being recommended, you're more susceptible, um, just give us a call. And yeah. we can make those arrangements, do a delivery, yep. put them on your doorstep if you like, uh, um, or come in and enjoy a little bit of uh, uh, time together as long as we're a safe distance and all that <laughs> yes, good this stuff. This doesn't count. Yeah, this doesn't count. Um, so um, also, uh, at the end of the letter, there's just a little paragraph that reminds you of some of the things that Ben just said. Um, there is opportunity for God, uh, for God to be known as present, uh, for God to be um, seen as powerful, 
um, as the healer that he is. Oftentimes we look at our worship time and we are a close community and we, we long for and look for, I love, we love to be with you and worship. And so, um, not to see that as a loss, but to see it as an opportunity that God would give us to care for our neighbor, to spend time with our spouse if we're married, to spend time with family uh, or our children, um, to spend that time even in our our worship times that we have, um, to maybe even begin that practice, that training ground that God's providing right now to maybe even learn again how to pray with your children or with your spouse, uh, to hold their hand, to speak words of absolution and care to one another. Um, these are things that God is giving us and inviting for us. Um, also, uh, your service to the Lord, uh, your offerings to the Lord are still, um, well, they are appreciated yeah. and necessary and good. Um, and it is a, a good practice uh, for us. Uh, we miss that opportunity to be in his church and to giving our offerings uh, but don't let uh, don't let this situation or even the enemy take away your opportunity to give of your time your talent your treasure uh, to God uh, in a meaningful way he uses that to disciple us to grow us uh, to develop us as his children and so uh, keep that in mind and in your prayers and um, again we'll keep sending you updates if you feel like you're missing out and you're not getting information or you're not able to access the website or you're not able to figure out how to use this live stream, um, just pick up the phone and give us a call. And um, if it's a technical computer thing, he will help you. <laughs> okay. okay, we'll do it. <laughs> and, uh, or we'll find somebody that yeah. can. Um, could you just say a prayer with us? Yeah, let's pray. Let's pray together. Father God, thanks again for this opportunity to um, be together in a new way. And we ask that you would continue to wipe away, wash away anxieties and fears that we feel. Yes. But also, uh, we sense that our community around us certainly feels this. So Lord, open our eyes to not um, be overwhelmed, overcome with fear, but to look for ways and to see ways that you might call us to love others, to reflect your love for um, everyone, all creation even. So open our hearts and continue to uh, make us aware. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. See you soon. See you soon.